Trucker Team Forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, as you take a look at your live tower cam outside, it's a pretty interesting picture. And the reason I say that is we've got a little bit of cloud cover off in the distance to the west. That's all part of Imelda, which is currently a tropical storm moving inland near the Texas coast. As you notice out towards the east, however, we've got some blue skies and some sunshine. That's because of dry air. The two are kind of clashing on top of us. We've had a couple showers out there, but it's kind of been limiting some of that activity going into the early evening at this point. And I think that's going to be the big case here because I think the dry air is going to win the battle. And that should keep our rain chances and overall rain totals a little bit on the lower end of the scale. Your current temperature is now 80. It feels like 85. We've got those winds out of the east at about five miles per hour. Current Doppler radar just showing you that we've got a couple thunderstorms out there across the basin. The majority of the rainfall. Sitting southwest of here from Lake Charles all the way through the Acadiana area. And as you notice, even near the coastline at this point, they have issued a coastal flood advisory because they are expecting the seas to be anywhere from one to two feet above normal. Now, again, there still is that possibility for a pocket or two of rain tonight, but nothing expected to be substantial. Kind of keeping an eye on that trailing edge, which is now starting to slide into areas a little bit south of Highway 90 at this point. Again, I don't expect anything to be widespread and severe. We did have some severe reports across. The area 66 mile an hour winds at the metro airport, which actually ripped a hangar apart and also toppled four airplanes. We're trying to work on some video for that. But as you see your future cast here, you'll notice again some cloud cover should be somewhat quiet. Again, there still is that opportunity that we could see one or two showers out there. Then we'll get a little bit of heating and look for more storms to start to develop by late morning going into the afternoon hours of tomorrow. You can see it on the this time stamp there. And then as soon as we move into Wednesday, the system will start to slide up towards the northwest. And and should be making its way away from us, and that should limit our rain chances by the end of the week. So here is the very latest on Tropical Storm Imelda. Right now, those winds are sustained at 40, heading north at about 7 miles per hour, currently sitting 30 miles to the west of Galveston, Texas. So again, it's starting to inch its way towards the downtown area of Houston. But notice some of these outer rain bands extending well into the Gulf of Mexico. The one I'm concerned about is some of these outer ones. This is a tropical air mass. you got to remember that. So it's easy for us to see very heavy downpours that could lead to a half an inch to even an inch of rainfall in a one hour time period. Notice still looking at a tropical storm by early tomorrow. Main thing is it's starting to weaken overnight and by the time we get to about midday on Wednesday we're talking maybe even a remnant low across northern and northern portions of Texas at this point. So the concern is obviously the amount of rainfall it could lead to life threatening flash flooding around the Houston area, but the further east you travel at this point, you see that the rain totals or estimates at least start to drop dramatically down into that half inch to inch and a half category. However, again, it's those local pockets that could lead to some water on roadways. We're also keeping an eye on tropical depression number 10. Most likely will be our next name storm by the time we get into the evening hours or at least early tomorrow. We're looking at tropical storm Jerry and then gradually strengthening into a category one storm by the time we get to Friday. Luckily for us, long range models keep this system in the Gulf or well away from the Gulf of Mexico and keep it in the Atlantic. Also keeping a very close eye on Hurricane Humberto, still expected to strengthen into a major hurricane that's a category three and above by the time we get to about Wednesday. But then long range, you see that this system starts to drag its way out towards the northeast and then quickly begins to fall apart. So here you go, big picture, looking at your seven day picture. We've got, again, the chance for some rain tomorrow. Most of the rainfall will be a little bit west of here, but there still is that chance for a pocket or two where we could see some heavy rainfall. We're talking 92 before that rain arrives. Heading into your Thursday, the chance for a storm or two out there. And then by the time we roll into the weekend, a little bit of a drier period out there. We've got a backdoor cold front coming through, and that could even make us somewhat comfortable for a few short hours. That means knocking down our humidity levels by Friday and Saturday. And I think the guys playing football on Friday will love that a little bit. They won't sweat as much, and things are looking pretty nice for Saturday and Sunday. And then we just need to keep an eye on another cold front, which could actually maybe in, maybe even usher in fall. What do you say? Yeah, I'm we're still waiting on that one. But again, there is potential now. Yes, can't wait for it. It'll feel like football weather, which we have plenty of football news, some 